77 participants from the armed forces, paramilitary, federal and state civil services among others, gather at the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies for the Senior Executive Course 42 graduation ceremony. For the past 11 months, their study focused on the challenges of population growth and human capital development. One after the other, they file out to collect their certificates. Aleto Anthony, so of rehabilitation of this sports complex. President Muhammad Buhari, in his address presented by Plateau State this Governor, promises to implement the recommendations, even as the government will not relent in investing in youths. As custodians of the social order, we cannot fail to realize that the fast-growing, young and dynamic population that feels alienated and disempowered is a threat to stability. This is why this administration has set its sights on lifting 100 million people out of poverty over the next decade. This calls for expansion of access to opportunity and investment in human capital development on a large scale that is unprecedented in our history. Last year, when we worked with the Senior Executive Course 41, we saw some of those policies translate into uh, actionable steps uh, that, we, that we are now seeing in the National Health Insurance Act uh, and even the amendment of the National Health Act. Uh, we hope that this year, uh, some of the input that we provided for the Senior Executive Course 42 will translate into uh, actionable policies uh, moving forward. Some of the participants share their perspectives on necessary options in managing the nation's population growth and human capital development. Uh, the National Population Commission said we are now 206 and we are expected to be the third largest population in the world by 2050. So if we do not plan for all this, then there is going to be a big problem. So that's what we've been able to conceptualize and are giving to Mr. President. And I think he, we, he said that we try to adopt some of the recommendation and the other ones will be useful for planning. With the increasing population growth, government may need to find ways to harness the recommendations so as to achieve national development aspirations.